Essentially, these are all the cables that I use in my events. That's pretty much it. As you guys can see, it doesn't take... happening what's going on welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome to a very special edition video brought to you by my friends over at hosa technology at its most simplistic form hosa is a cable manufacturer they make cables not just for djs but for a ton of different industry they've been my go-to since really the inception of this channel they've been a long time supporter of my channel and that is why i love hosa technology i don't know if you guys are the same way i'm very adamant about my cables i love taking care of my cables and every year at the end of wedding season i usually look back at my cable bag and see what I'm missing, see what I need. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dumping out both of my cable bags. I'm going to be putting in new cables and some new equipment that I actually picked up from Amazon. I did a similar video like this a uh, few years ago and I showed you guys every single cable that I have in my cable bag and I figured now's a great time to update my cable. So that is why I'm teaming up with Hosa to bring you this video on what exactly is inside of my cable bag. So without further ado, let's go right into the box. Who knows how many cables I just ripped doing that. <laughs> that I want to go over with you guys because I really haven't updated you guys on what goes on behind the scenes as far as cables go. There's a ton that has happened since that last video that I made with Hosa Technology. First off, this was the old bag that I used to use. This is now my backup bag. You guys remember I had a silver version of this bag. This is a brand called Fits. I bought it on Amazon but they don't do a really good job of keeping stock on it. I have found alternate versions, but this is the one I prefer. The second option, this has since become my go-to bag. This is actually a Husky uh, box, if you will, that I picked up from Home Depot. It's a little bit bulkier and it's not as malleable as this one was, but this one is awesome because it's a little bit more heavy duty. I love the way it opens, as you guys can see. Everything just kind of fits really snug in here. The downside with this one though is that I just can't shove it into tight places like I can with this one. This one has a, has a bit of support around, if you guys can hear that. But it works great as a cable bag. This is my favorite. You can pick it up at Home Depot. I believe it was about $30 to $40 on Home Depot. If I can find an Amazon link, I'll list it down below. If not, I'll list the Home Depot link. And also for this video, I brought back my Dymo, Demo, whatever it's called, uh, label maker. This is a $10 label maker that you can purchase on Amazon. I highly recommend that you guys pick up one of these label makers. It'll make your life super, super simple. Let's get inside the box. We have a new crane stand. This is the laptop stand that I use. I have two additional ones. This one that I have here on my backup cable bag actually broke. And it's actually a pretty good stand considering that it's broken. Um, I fixed it with some gaff tape. As you guys can see there, it's being held together by gaff. So this is just super loose, but the gaff tape actually holds it. The top still locks though. So this is my stand. I'm probably gonna throw this out. Maybe I'll keep it for parts. This is the old one. We're gonna get rid of that one. So this now going to go into my backup bag. And the new one is going to go inside of my main bag. Okay, so I'm not replacing all my cables because Hosa makes some quality stuff. So most of these cables don't need replacing. But after doing almost 100 weddings this year, I kind of figured out which cables I do and don't need. So that's what this box is all about. Let's make room for them. First up, we got two 
new power cables right here. These are extension cords. There are 15 footers. Now, a trick to eliminate these extension cords is to actually buy long IECs. I highly recommend that you just invest in long IECs. It saves you on having to buy a ton of extension cords. I personally like getting about 10 to 15 footers when it comes to my IECs. Next up, we have the number one thing that gets stolen from DJs is XLRs. <laughs> I don't know why, but XLRs just seem to go missing all the time. I typically use 15 footers. You guys know how my setup is. My speakers are relatively close, about eight to 10 feet apart. So I don't really need that much length. Now I also ordered some 20 footers. These serve as more or less just our backup cables and extension XLR cables. Essentially these are all the cables that I use at my events. That's pretty much it. As you guys can see, it doesn't take up much room. You have to optimize your setup so that you're only carrying around what you need. Now, I said this before in the videos, I know a lot of DJs that carry every single cable that they own. And in my opinion, that just slows you down. What you really need are your main cables and a backup. And this covers all bases. We have cables for our speakers, we have cables for our sub, and then we have a backup set of cables. Hosa also sent this over. This is a Bluetooth audio interface. It essentially eliminates an RCA cable, something that's nice to have in your cable bag. Of course, it wouldn't be a cable video without some Velcro ties. And lastly, Hosa sent us some uh, Hosa stickers. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, bro, so now let's get to labeling our cables. This is something that I highly recommend you guys do because again, you don't wanna be that guy. When somebody asks you for a cable, you should just be able to whip it out no questions asked. So what I like to do with all my cables is label them. And on the label, I like to specify what kind of cable exactly it is. So example, this is a microphone cable, not to be confused with an XLR cable because we know those are different. Here on the packaging, I can tell that it's a 15 foot XLR. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, turn on my label maker, and I'm gonna write out XLR space, 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 15 foot. Footer. Now I know the girth of these cables, so I know it takes about 12 to 15 spaces. So let's just go ahead and go for the ladder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 15, and then I'm gonna write the same thing, XLR. 15 print boom now what sucks is that you have to do this like a million times and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap this around here this is it this is the idea right here so now let's do that for all these cables so the way i like to differentiate between the iec and the extension cords is i like to label the extension cords power and the IECs, IECs. Now the gauge on the power is a little bit thicker, so we're gonna do about 20 spaces this time. So one, two, three, four, five. We have our labels ready, now let's start labeling up. And this is what it looks like when you're all said and done. I typically like to put it on the male end. And lastly, what we'll also do is we'll take a hose of Velcro and Velcro this up. All right, now I'm gonna do this for the rest of the other cables. Time to assemble our bag. Here we go. First up, we of course have our laptop stand goes in. Next up, we have our Furman surge protectors. Not one, but two. I usually like to throw these on the bottom. They take a good beating. Next up, I'm gonna throw in the extension cords, two of them, as well as our long IECs. Two of these 25 footers, three outlet extension thingy-majigs go right here. Our IEC for base. Two 20 foot XLRs go right here. And then on top, I like to put the stuff that we use the most. So first up, we of course have our SRX power cables, IEC. We have our XLRs to go from our mixer to our speakers. And then if we have sub, we of course have our sub cable. And that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, everything fits snug. We're not carrying any excess equipment. We have backup equipment in there pretty much everything that we need lastly we throw in some gaff tape to top it all off and that's pretty much everything that i carry in my bag what do you guys think what's in your bag boom 
And that's pretty much it. That's exactly what I carry to each and every single one of my gigs. If you have any questions about any of the cables, any of the stuff that I just talked about, please don't hesitate to leave your questions, comments, or concerns down in those comments below. I'll be sure to respond back to you guys. And I like to also pass on the question to you guys. What do you guys carry around in your cable bag? And I know some of you guys may be asking, hey, Bar, what happens when you do TVs, when you do your lighting? If you guys have been following my videos then you pretty much know that I have a system for everything and I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a full tour of my equipment 2020 edition because this year is pretty much done. I'll walk you guys through all my other equipment. You guys know that my totems are all pretty much pre-wired so I don't need to bring any additional DMX cables because those already live inside and also I've been using wireless DMX and when I do TVs there's actually a bag that we bring that's called the media bag. There are some things that we implement if we have bigger packages but essentially but because the majority of my events don't require all those things I don't need to bring them so it doesn't make any sense for me to have a ton of excess cables that are probably just gonna take up space that I'm not gonna use or worst of all that I'm gonna leave behind or get stolen so it doesn't make sense to carry every single cable that you own and with that being said I'd like to send a huge huge shout out to my friends over at Hosa Technology for always supporting my channel Hosa was one of the first support on my channel so I am forever grateful to those guys at Hosa and also these guys at Hosa are hooking you guys up this year again as per usual every end of the year Hosa and I team up to bring you guys a special giveaway to say thank you thank you for using Hosa technology and thank you for watching the videos so this year we'll be doing another Hosa care package giveaway. The Hosa care package is a combination of cables, accessories, and a bunch of other miscellaneous things. So we're gonna do that again for two lucky viewers. All you have to do is follow myself on Instagram and follow my friends over at Hosa on Instagram as well. There we'll be posting the details on how exactly you can enter. The winner will be chosen right about two weeks prior to Christmas so that we can uh, get the stuff out to you right before the holiday. So uh, that is how Happening. So follow myself on Instagram and Hosa Technology and then we'll cross check to make sure you guys are following both of us and from that we'll choose two of you guys for a care package. Please like this video bros if you like this subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another video. A lot of cool stuff coming up so stay tuned for that. I'll see you bros in my next one. Peace.